What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're starting it kind of like vlog style because we're going to be doing a massive declutter. It is time yet again. I did another one of these on my channel maybe about six months ago. You guys seem to really, really like it and it is definitely time to do an updated one. Obviously testing new makeup products is my job. So I get so much makeup sent to me, which I'm very grateful for. I do have to keep a lot more makeup on hand because A, I do collect it, but also it'd be boring for you guys to see me use the same stuff over and over in videos. So I'm always trying to use new things and different stuff and showing you guys new things when they come out. But with that being said, I have more than I need. We need to go through it and declutter. So the last time I did a declutter, we were mostly going through brand new stuff that I had gotten in PR that had not been used before. So I did a huge giveaway with it. Today, we're gonna be going through a very different makeup. It has pretty much all been used and I presume most of it is expired. I plan to keep less than half of this stuff. Like I need to get rid of most of it. Anything I'm getting rid of, if it's lightly used, I will donate it if it's not expired and throw away the stuff that is expired because I'm I'm sure we're gonna find some gems in there. You guys know I'm not gonna leave you hanging and I have a ton of new makeup that has never been used that I'm gonna be doing a big giveaway for you guys. I love to do giveaways with my declutter. So we're gonna do a huge giveaway. This is all brand new makeup to it. Thank you guys for watching my videos, subscribing. It means the absolute world to me. So there's going to be three different winners. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is just be subscribed to my YouTube channel and leave me a comment down below. You can let me know in the comments what your recent most favorite makeup product is. I would love to hear that. So let me know that in the comments and I will pick three of you guys. You can also get additional entries if you follow me on Instagram, which is at Kelly Strack Official and on TikTok, which is also at Kelly Strack Official. So feel free to follow me there if you want additional entries into the giveaway. But yeah, that's the giveaway. I'll let this run for two weeks and then I will contact the three winners directly. I'm verified on my social platform. So you will know if it is actually me because it will be coming from my verified account. So be sure not to answer to anybody else who might be claiming to be me because I feel like that always happens with giveaways, unfortunately. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to the declutter. Okay, so here's what we're working with at the moment. This is what I'm gonna be tackling. Some of these drawers are like empty and don't have that much stuff. So obviously those ones are doing pretty good, but then some of these drawers really need to go through because they are like packed to the gills, like these lip drawers. I have not gone through honestly in like years and I really, really need to. So this will probably end up being like a multi-part series, but we're really gonna focus today on a lot of these like overflowing drawers, which mostly are over on this side. We have so many palettes we have to go through too. And like foundations, like nobody needs this many of any of this stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of grab like drawer by drawer and we will go through. All right, first drawer I grabbed is mostly like high-end lip glosses. And a lot of these are really, really old. Like I can see right on top, there's a bunch of these Becca lip glosses, which these actually look really pretty, but Becca is not even a brand anymore, which means these are quite old and likely expired. So I am going to get rid of these. Here's another one. This is really pretty too. But again, I know that these are like maybe three or more years old. Also these ones too from Too Faced, the melted latex. I don't even think they make these anymore. So these are going to go. I have a bunch of Too Faced over here. Okay. Yeah. These are like all the melted latex. So these I am going to get rid of because I've had these, I think honestly, since like my apartment days. So that means they are like four ish years old. So it's time to part. These ones though from Too Faced are newer. They are the high shine sparkling lip glosses. And these ones look really pretty. So these I am going to keep if they're in shades that I think I would use like these two, I would definitely get use out of. Let's see these two also. This more purpley one, probably not. So I'm not gonna keep that. This one, I already kept one that was the shade. So I'll get rid of this one as well. And I will keep these two. They're both really pretty. A few more of those latex ones that I'm gonna get rid of. We have a lot of these silver, whatever this is. So these are all the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shines. So I just looked online and these came out in 2018. And since I have like all of these different colors in them. My assumption is these were likely sent to me in PR because I wouldn't buy every single color of like a lip gloss, which makes these four years old. So I am going to part with them because they would normally send PR like right before something launches. So I would have gotten them in 2018, which means I'm sure they are past their expiration date by probably a couple years at this point. Okay, and then the rest, I have a bunch of these NARS. These are their full vinyl lip lacquers. This isn't a shade I would get used out of, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna keep the red. I'm gonna keep these three shades and get rid of these three. Also have a few more NARS. These are their velvet lip glides. These I am going to get rid of. Really have not reached for them that often. This lip color I'm gonna keep though. This is really pretty and nice for summer. And I'm gonna get rid of these three glosses. All right, we're making progress. We cleared out this little area. 
Now let's get to in here. Um, let's see. So we have these three, which are all older. So I'm gonna get rid of all them. I'm gonna get rid of all these NARS ones because they're not really in shades that I would use. I have a few more of the NARS that I'm gonna get rid of. I have these Lancome lip glosses, which I actually loved these, but I know I've had these for a really, really long time. These are like super glossy and pretty. I don't believe they make them anymore, but it's definitely time to part with these. So I have a few of them that I'm gonna part with. Another little melted latex that I will part with. We have the Erica Jane Too Faced collab, which I am going to part with. This red Lancome. This is like a gloss, like liquid lipstick kind of combo. So I'm gonna keep this. I love the Tarte H2O glosses, but this isn't a shade that I don't think I'll ever use. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, but I see another one down in here which I'm gonna keep because this is a shade that I would use. Up, oh, I have a few more, I think, in here. This one I'm gonna part with, same shade. I'm gonna part with all these because I have glosses that are all in similar colorways, so I don't need all of these. Oh my gosh, these used to be my jam back in the day too, the Laura Geller lip glosses, but these honestly are probably from like 2017 or something, like they have done their time. It's time to part with them. We have some older MAC collabs. So these are like the MAC Aladdin collab, which I'm gonna get rid of. We also have some of the MAC Patrick Star, which are past their time. Some more Lipstick Queen, which I'm gonna get rid of. I just never really reached for these. The Too Faced Angel Tears, I'm gonna get rid of, but I'm going to keep these Too Faced Lip Injection Glossies. These MAC Lip Glosses, I'm gonna keep and I'm going to get rid of these ones. I'm also gonna keep these MAC Lip Glosses. I do really love their gloss formula and I'm going to get rid of these ones. All right, almost getting through the first one. I'm gonna part with all of these because I feel like I have glosses in similar shades that I could use, so I don't need these. Oh, some more Becca. I'm on the bottom, RIP. I liked their brand a lot, but I'm gonna get rid of these. And then I'm gonna get rid of these ones and keep these. All right, for the first section we did good. Here is the keep pile and here is the get rid of pile. So obviously getting rid of a lot more than we kept, which is the goal. So I'm just gonna try and nicely kind of put these back in. I'll probably do like the two face ones up towards the front. room for more whenever we need to. Okay, new bin. These ones are much newer, like lipsticks and lip glosses, so I'll probably keep many more of these than we did in the past. So let's go through. I see Rare Beauty right on top, which I'm going to keep, so I'll keep the Rare Beauty ones that I see. Also, gotta keep Miss Fenty. I love the gloss bombs. I have a little Jaclyn Cosmetics lip oil, which I'm gonna keep. I have this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, which I'm gonna get rid of. I see a lot of these Tarte Maracuja. I love these, the Maracuja Juicy Lips. They are so, so nice. They're kind of like a lipstick lip gloss hybrid. So I am going to keep all these because I love to use them. I have like all the shades, but I really do like these. So I'm gonna keep them. I also see the Too Faced Lady Bold Lipsticks, which these are absolutely beautiful. They're super pigmented, glide on really nice, not drying. So I'm gonna keep these. I see a few more of the Maracujas back here, which I'll be keeping. This liquid lipstick I'm gonna get rid of. I am also gonna get rid of all of these. These two liquid lipsticks from MAC I'm gonna keep. I really like bright oranges for like summer. And then this kind of vampy shade is a little different than a lot of things that I have. So I'm gonna keep these. Another Lady Bold, which I'll keep. I also am gonna keep this Too Faced lipstick. It's a pretty nude shade. Kylie, I don't even know. I feel like this is like the only lipstick I have from Kylie, so I am gonna keep this because I didn't even realize that I had this. I'm gonna get rid of these MAC Glow Plays. I just never really reached for these, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm also gonna get rid of these. Okay, I have a bunch of these Armani lipsticks. These are actually really nice, so I am going to keep these. They're their lip powers, and so they're matte, but they're not super drying and very pigmented, so I am going to keep these. I have tried some of the shades, other ones of them I haven't gotten the chance to try yet, so I will keep them. Also going to keep this Jaclyn lip oil. Let's see, we have this MAC lipstick, which is very pretty, but I'm going to get rid of this one. Anything in this bin, though, should be able to be donated because it shouldn't be expired, so they won't just be thrown in the garbage, which will be good. Okay. Okay, and here I have these Makeup Forever. These are newer, like lipsticks, so I am going to keep these two. Also have another matte lippy. Let's see what shade this is. Ooh, this is pretty, but I have a bunch of others that are similar to this, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna keep the Too Faced Lip Injection, and then everything else I think I am going to part with in here. Like an Oprah lip gloss, Glow Play, Laura Mercier. 
and these two, which I am going to get rid of. All right, done with this one. Here's the keep pile, a little bigger than last time, but our get rid of pile is growing. These ones I'll probably just add to the other bin of lippies that we had so they can all be together. Okay, we're gonna take a little break from our declutter to show you guys something that I am not going to have to declutter, thankfully, thanks to Scentbird, which is my perfume collection. I wanna thank them so much for partnering with me on this section of today's video. I have talked to you guys about Scentbird many times over the past like probably five or six years I've used their service. If you're not familiar with Scentbird, it's basically a monthly subscription service where you get to try new scents every single month. And what I love most about Scentbird is you get to pick the scents. So if you know a scent that you like, like for me, I have certain scents that I like always reorder. Like this month I got Prada Candy, which I love. I have ordered this 7 million times from them. I also got Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which smells amazing, and Gucci Flora which also smells so, so good. But you get to pick the scent, like with other subscription boxes, you don't get to pick what you get sent, but with Scentbird, you get to go on and pick it. If you don't know a specific fragrance, they do have a quiz where you can take to try new things. So I actually have a couple that I got from that, which I haven't tried yet. This one is Malin and Goetz Stem. That's what it looks like which smells really, really good. The quiz just basically asked you about like your scent preferences. And then I also got this one, which is the Bulgari Omnia Pink Sapphire. So it says like on each tube what it is. It is a very generous amount of scent. They say it's a 30 day supply. Honestly, I think it's more. Mine lasts longer than that. Maybe I just don't use as much, but mine normally lasts longer than 30 days. And you just kind of put them in these little carriers. You can put it up like this and spray it on or you could take it out. And another thing that I like is these are not like replica scents that smell like the designer perfume. They are the designer perfumes. They're all authentic perfumes and they have so, so many, like literally hundreds and hundreds of different perfumes to try and it's only $15.95 per month. But they did give me a coupon code, which is KellyS55, which will get you 55% off of your first month, making it $7 for your first month. And this is available in the US and Canada. So I will link all of the different perfumes that I got as well as the discount code and a link for you guys to check out Scentbird in the description down below. So it's a really awesome service. So that'll all be linked down below. Now let's get back to the declutter. Okay, we're gonna switch gears from lips for a moment and we are going to do palettes. This is a really deep drawer filled with palettes. These are mostly drugstore palettes. If you guys haven't noticed, I tend to separate my makeup in drugstore versus high end just for when I'm doing videos. It makes it easier when it's separated when I can grab for makeup, but we're gonna go through this. Right on top, I see the new Milani Gilded Flora. This is like very new. Recently it came out and I am going to keep it. Also gonna keep this NYX Ultimate Utopia. This is a great drugstore palette because it has so many different shades and very versatile. I'm gonna part with this Wet n Wild Saved by the Bell palette and also gonna part with the e.l.f. Electric Mood just because this is from last year and I just haven't reached for it as much. See this cab? cosmetics on top let's see oh so this is like a face palette this i will keep i have some makeup revolution from their batman and joker collection these i'm going to part with i'm also going to part with these hard candy and elf palettes iconic london Ooh, this is really pretty this i'm going to keep i think i got this in a boxy charm i'm going to keep this makeup revolution this one is pretty but i feel like i won't get that much use out of these colors so i'm going to part with it elf x chipotle oh my gosh this collab was so cute if I can open it. These are what the colors look like, but I honestly have not reached for it that much. So I am going to get rid of it just because I do have palettes with the same colors in them, but I will always love this collab. So cute. So I'd love to give it to somebody else that can like actually enjoy it. So this will definitely be donated. We have the Wet n Wild SpongeBob, which is also super, super cute, but I am going to donate this one as well. The Revlon Tropical Vibes. This was one of my favorite drugstore palettes when it came out. I think this came out about two years ago, but I haven't reached for it much since. So I am going to part with it. We have another color. ColourPop, I think this is just like loose shadows. Okay, yeah, it's like a bunch of loose, colorful shadows from ColourPop, so I am gonna keep this. I'm gonna part with this Absolute New York palette. This is really nice, it has so many different like shades, but I have a lot of other palettes with similar shades, so I don't need another one. I have this Morphe palette, which is super old, so I'm gonna part with this. You can tell because the packaging is like really, really old. Their packaging is very different now. This is a very like cool toned palette, but again, I do have other palettes with similar color stories. We have the ColourPop It's All Good palette. This one's really pretty, I'm gonna keep this. Also gonna keep the Profusion Mirage. I also really like this and it's a great affordable palette. Another Makeup Revolution. This is a pretty palette, I'm gonna keep this. Another older Morphe palette, which I will part with. Again, looks very pretty, but is definitely past its time. They have a bunch of these little flower palettes. 
Um, and honestly, I rarely ever reach for these, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate them. Believe Beauty, I am gonna keep this because I love this for like more affordable tutorials and stuff. It is available at Dollar General, so I'm gonna keep this. Wet n Wild Star Luxe, I'm gonna donate. Same as the Maybelline Lemonade Craze. I'm also gonna part with this one. This is the Koki Artist Palette. This is actually really pretty, so I'm gonna keep this. NYX Ultimate Palette, I'm gonna keep. I'm also gonna keep this Profusion Amber Eyes Palette. The ColourPop Lunar like little eyeshadow palette, I think. This is really pretty. I actually am gonna keep this even though I've had it for a while. Some little tiny palettes back here. Let's take a look. The little elf bite size I'm gonna keep. These CoverGirl palettes, I'm gonna keep this one, Sunshine Escape, and I'm gonna get rid of these palettes. Ooh, okay, another Makeup Revolution. This one's pretty too. I like these for like dupe tutorials because they're similar to a lot of high-end palettes. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna part with this Essence Fire palette. I'm gonna get rid of these palettes. And last but not least, we have this ColourPop Fade Into Hue. Wow, this is pretty so, so colorful. I'm going to keep this one. All right, here's the key pile. Not too, too many, just ones that I think I could use for tutorials. And we have our Get Rid Of Pile growing. Alrighty, now we're gonna move into a drugstore primers. So right on top, I see the Milani Bright Side. This I'm gonna keep. I'm also gonna keep this Milani Supercharged. I like this one as well. The Catrice Grip Putty Primer. I like this, but I honestly just reach for the e.l.f. one more. They're very, very similar. Like honestly, almost the same thing. So I'm going to donate this one. The Milani Glow Drops, I'm gonna keep. I'm also gonna keep this CoverGirl Moisturizing Base Business. I really love this one. I'm gonna get rid of this Catrice Correct My Red. I'm gonna keep the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. I'm gonna keep the Believe beauty primer as well. This wet and wild I'm gonna part with. These ones I'm gonna get rid of. I just don't really reach for them. I'm gonna keep the NYX Marshmallow. Also gonna keep the e.l.f. Dew primer, but I am going to get rid of the Mint Cooling Face Primer. These CoverGirl Vitalist Go Glows, I actually really like these, but I don't think these are available anymore, but I do like them, so I'm gonna keep them for now. I'm gonna keep this Revlon Rose Glow. I'm gonna get rid of this Essence Perfector. I think I have a few of these in here. So I'm gonna part with these ones. Love these Lumis from L'Oreal. I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna keep this Crystal Glow from Joa. This CoverGirl Glow Glow I'm gonna get rid of though because this one's a little bit too dark for my skin. I'm gonna keep this Neutrogena Primer. I do like this. All of these I'm gonna part with because they're all super old. These I'm gonna keep. These I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna keep this Illuminating Primer and this Pore Balancing Primer. I'm also gonna keep this Wet n Wild Primer Serum. For these ones, I'm gonna keep the Hydrating Primer and I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm gonna keep this Garnier Glow Boost. I'm gonna get rid of these and keep these few left down in here. So here's the keep pile and the get rid of pile is just becoming a mound at this point. And these, I'm really not gonna put them that nicely. I'm just gonna put them like this because a lot of them like won't stand up all the way because they're too tall. So I honestly don't really organize these that nicely. Sorry guys, this is real life. <laughs> All right, up next, we're gonna jump into drugstore foundations. Oh my goodness gracious. We got a lot of stuff in here. So right on top here, I see the Cover It, Cover Girl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I used to really love these, but this isn't available anymore. So I am going to get rid of it. Also see these L'Oreal Lumi Cushions. These came out like literally, I think like in 2015 or something, like a really long time ago. So it's time to part. I have a couple of these cushion foundations. I don't know what happened to cushion foundation. They like came out, every brand was making them and then they went away. I have another one back here, Maybelline Dream cushion but yeah I'm gonna get rid of these a lot of what I have in here is like I have the same foundation oh these are like ripped together okay I have the same foundation in multiple different shades so what I'm gonna go through is in these foundations I'm gonna keep like two shades like one that's a little bit of a darker shade one that's a little bit of a lighter shade that I feel like would match me everything else I'm parting with I don't need 12 shades of like every foundation so for this foundation I'm going to keep these two in the middle and then the two on the ends I'm going to part with okay also see these Revlon I'm going to keep this one get rid of this one NYX total control I think I only have one of these I'm going to keep this I see a couple of these makeup revolution I think maybe oh here's another one of the Catrice this I'm gonna part with. For Makeup Revolution, I think these are the only two, so I'm gonna keep them. I see a lot of these Flower Beauty. For this, I'm just gonna keep this foundation. Looks like I already used it, so it's probably a match. I'm gonna get rid of these. Okay, we have some of these Maybelline Dream Urban Covers. 
I am gonna keep 220 natural beige, which is this one, and get rid of all these. We also have a lot of the Dream Radiant Liquids, also from Maybelline. So if you're wondering why I have so many shades in these, a lot of times when the brands come out with these products, they will send the whole shade range. Recently, I've noticed brands now will send only one or two shades that they think will match you, which is a lot better because it's just a lot less waste. But that's why I have so many different shades in a lot of these. For this, I'm gonna keep these two and then get rid of these. I also have a few more of those in here, which I'm gonna get rid of. Okay, I see some CoverGirl True Blend Matte Maids, which these I do really like. I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of these. Ooh, the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I love this. I'm gonna keep this. I am gonna keep the, the L'Oreal Infallibles. I absolutely love these. I think there's only two of them in here. So I am gonna keep these. I have a bunch of the Wet n Wilds, which I do love these, but I don't need all of these shades. So I'm gonna keep these two and donate these. I have another one that I'm gonna get rid of. I have a bunch of these Maybelline Superstay Foundation Sticks. I honestly never really reach for these, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Another Wet n Wild, which I'll get rid of. Oh my gosh, this is an OG Revlon Color Stay. Wow. So this one's a natural finish. This one's a matte finish. They're the same shade, so I am gonna keep these because they are too different. I'm gonna keep the CoverGirl Skin Milk and the NYX Born to Glow. I'm also gonna keep these ones. I'm gonna get rid of. Gonna keep these. Okay, I see some She Glam. I actually do really like this foundation. Let me see what shades I have. It's hard to tell when the bottles are frosted. This one definitely looks too dark, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. And I will keep these two and get rid of this one as well. I have two of the L'Oreal True Matches, which I'll keep. Two Believe Beauties that I'll keep. I'm also gonna keep this L'Oreal Age Perfect Serum. And these last couple, I only have, like I have two of the Pretty Fresh and one of each of these, so I am going to keep them. You know what, actually this Wet n Wild Stick Foundation, I don't really reach for anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, but I'll keep those three. These ones I can probably organize a little bit nicer so that they're all in here. Okay, up next we have a drawer filled with all lipsticks. So I have a bunch of these Tarte ones. These I've had for a really, really long time. These were from like their H2O line. Honestly, I am like 95% sure that every single one of these blue ones is expired because I've had them again for years and years. So I am just going to get rid of these ones. So we are just gonna part ways. They're really nice. So this is kind of sad, but we don't want to be using expired products on our lips. Okay, then we have a bunch of these Lancome lippies. So these ones are kind of cool. You like, they have different type packaging. You like push it in and then push it out like that. Anyways, these I've had for a really, really long time as well. Honestly, the more I look at this bin, this was probably the oldest bin of products that I've had. These like have not been gone through in a really, 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 really long time. And I'm honestly pretty positive that every single thing in here is expired at this point. Like we have a few NARS, mostly these Lancome ones, which these literally are probably from like 2017 or something. Like they've done their time. We have some Too Faced up in here, but I am probably going to part with everything um, in here because again, you don't want to use expired products in your lips. We have some Origins, but yeah, these have definitely passed their prime. So I am going to part with them. Trying not to hoard products. So here we go. I do just want to show you guys too. This is the website that I use. It's Healthline. Um, yeah, looks like that and this basically shows the expiration. So lipsticks are actually some of the longest lasting They can last for up to two years or 24 months But like I said, these are beyond that two-year mark at this point and then lip gloss foundation concealer and then Mascara and liquid eyeliner are much shorter I guess probably because they go around your eye area, but I also don't know that for sure But yeah, much much shorter lifespan Cream and powder products a bit longer too. I actually thought powder products lasted longer, but this is basically the guide that I'm going by, if you guys were wondering. All right, so I'm just going to literally just grab all of these and take them out. All right, now we are going to work on mascaras. These are higher end mascaras. I do go through mascaras pretty quickly, but as we saw, they do expire pretty quickly. So we are going to see right on top, I see a Benefit Roller Lash, which I actually love this mascara. I have two of them here, but I do use this all the time. So I am gonna keep both of these. I see this Tarte Gifted Mascara. This is pretty old, so I'm gonna toss this one. Also gonna get rid of this Lorac Luxe. Gonna keep the Lancome Misor Big. I love this. Also gonna keep these ones. I love my Too Faced better than sex, so these two. This one is just like a special edition um, packaging, which is really pretty, and this is newer. I'm gonna keep this, it's just a regular one, and then this one is a waterproof, so I'm gonna keep these. 
I have two of the Urban Decay at Perversion, so I'm gonna keep one and get rid of one. I have this one from Elia, which I'm gonna keep. Also, I'm gonna keep these guys. Gonna get rid of these ones. Gonna get rid of this Urban Decay one. I have a couple of these Tarte mascaras, so I have two of the Big Ego. I'm gonna keep one and get rid of one. And then I have two of these Lights Camera Lashes. Also gonna keep one and get rid of one. Gonna keep these, and I'm gonna get rid of these. Ooh, this Hourglass one is kinda cool. It's like humongous. This one I am going to keep. I also have a lot more of these Better Than Sex from Too Faced. Like there's a lot of them in here, so I do not need all of these. Let me try and gather them all up. Okay, I do love this mascara, but I do not need this many, so I will probably keep like two more and then I will get rid of the rest of them. I'm gonna keep this Givenchy mascara, so bougie. I have a few of these from Lancome, which these are like serums that you can apply before you apply your mascara, so I'm gonna keep two of them and get rid of one. Oop, there's another one in here, so I'll get rid of this one too. These I'm gonna keep, and these ones I'm gonna get rid of. I do see another roller lash in here. I really, really love this, so I'm gonna keep this. I have a couple of the Fenty mascaras, so I don't need all of these. We have one of these tart ones. So I'm gonna keep two of the Fenty and I'll get rid of these two. We also have a few of the Milk Kush mascara, which this is actually a really nice mascara. But I don't need three of them, so I'll keep two, get rid of one. I'm gonna get rid of these ones. A lot of these are like really, really old. Gonna keep these. Okay, I see a few of the Benefit They're Real mascaras, which I really like these ones too. I have a regular one and then a brown one, so I'm gonna keep these. I think there's one more in here, which I'll keep. Actually, oh gosh. Here's another. Okay, I don't need this many, so I'll get rid of two and keep two. I have this one, which is their real magnet. So this one's a little different. I'll keep this. Another waterproof one. I think I only kept like two or three waterproof ones, so I will keep one more. We have this other one from Milk and It Cosmetics, and then a few of these Lancome ones, which they sent me that have like my name on them. So I'm gonna keep those ones. These ones I am gonna get rid of. And then like I said, I'm gonna keep the ones that are left because a lot of them are personalized. So I'm gonna keep these. We have like another Kevin Aquan one over here too, which I'm excited about. I don't think I've ever tried this one. So I wanted to put this towards the front. So I remember to try it out, but we actually have, I think two of these ones, which I don't need to. So I'm just gonna keep the personalized, get rid of the non-personalized. And then I'll add back in the ones we're keeping. Again, I don't really do it super fancy guys. There's no way to really have these like standing up because they don't fit in the drawer. So they kind of just have to be layered like this. So it might not look super aesthetic, but now at least I'll be able to actually like go through these where before it was so like towards the top that I couldn't even get to the bottom. But there's a lot in here now. I'm realizing now when I put them in here, even though I got rid of like more than half of them, I still feel like I have too many. So I'm probably going to go through these again at some point relatively soon. So let me know if you guys want to see it again in an upcoming video, but... For today, we got rid of about half of them, but I probably could have decluttered more of these, to be honest. Okay, I think for the last bin that we're gonna tackle today, we are going to do my BBCC Tinted Moisturizer bin. Um, these I love, like there are so many things in here that I love, and this is what I've been reaching for more than anything else, honestly, but I don't need this many. So let's go through them right on top. I see the Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. This is my newest obsession. I love this product. So this I will be keeping. I have been using it literally every day. I have a bunch of the other IT Cosmetics CC creams in here. So I do not need all of these. I'll probably just like look at shades. I'll keep this one. This one looks like it's kind of older. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna try and go through and like locate all of them so we can see. Um, so these ones, this is the matte version where these ones are a little bit more dewy. I think this might be the only matte version that I have. So I will keep this, but I seem to have quite a lot of these. Oh my goodness. I do use them all the time this summer, but like nobody needs this many girl. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely overkill. I'll probably keep one more and get rid of everything else. Okay. I have a lot of the elf CCs as well, which these I love, but I do not need all of them. The thing with these is a lot of times in the summer, obviously sometimes I'm more tan than other time. So I do need to keep a couple different shades. I think all of these are actually different shades. If I double check, I believe they're all, yeah. Yes. Every single one of these is a different shade. So or actually these two are the same. So I will get rid of this one. So I don't need double shades, but these I will keep just because I can go to this in the winter if I'm not like self tanning or anything to like this in the summer. So I'm going to keep them. Okay. A few more in here. These I'll get rid of. Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I love this. I'll keep this. I'm also going to keep Laura Mercier and this Super Goop CC screen. This is like a sunscreen CC cream. It's really nice. These L'Oreal Skin Paradises, I just could not get these to work for me like shade wise and none of them matched. The undertones were just really off, so I am gonna get rid of these. I do love the OG e.l.f. BB cream. Like, I love their CC cream, but this, like, OG one, it's, like, literally four bucks, is actually really nice, so I'm gonna keep this as well. Gonna keep these NARS Pure Radiance. These are really nice. These I am gonna part with. I have these skin tints from Morphe. 
They're like all separated, but I'm going to keep one and get rid of the other. This I'm going to get rid of. These I am also going to get rid of. These are really old from Wet n Wild. Pure Lissy, I love. I'm going to keep this. I'm also going to keep Bobbi Brown. Okay, I'm just putting all the cosmetics over here because I do not need all of these. I'm kind of leaving them in here because we'll tackle that at the end. This milk makeup, I'm going to keep a couple of these NYX back in here. For this, I'm going to keep this shade. I'm going to get rid of these. Another Laura Mercier, which I'm going to keep. These I'm going to keep. This has been discontinued. It's also a foundation not a BB or CZ cream. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, out of these, I'm literally gonna keep like this one. I have light, medium. I'll keep that. And then I'll keep like one more if I have like a medium shade. So yeah, this one's medium. And maybe just a light too. And then everything else I'm gonna get rid of for these. And then we have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, which I wanna keep some of these, but I don't need all of them. I'll probably keep like these two, I think will work. And then the rest of them I will get rid of. Actually, on second thought, I think I'm gonna get rid of all of these because this is on the back of one of the ColourPop ones. So I guess this is past its time. So I am going to get rid of these. All right, so just gonna pop in. I don't think these can stand. No, they're too tall. I'm just gonna put these in here. All right, you guys, that is it for today. We can definitely do part two, probably part three, four, and five of this till we get everything completely decluttered. And at that point, it'll probably be time to declutter again. It's just a constant process of this, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna thank Scentbird again for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in the description box to check them out. I love you guys very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.